welcome in everybody welcome to air water earth fire this is an all element there are four readings in this one video you can see down below the chapterizing so you can catch your own reading these are sun moon rising and venus readings okay so feel free to swap around the energies as always i could be talking to a cross watcher this saturday we are going to be moving from the vimeo platform a little slowly we're going to we're going to show you how this works, but um, I think this is going to be better for everybody, and I feel like it's going to give us a lot more freedom to do a lot more things for you, okay? So that's going to be happening Saturday. We'll walk you through it. Don't worry. Um, show up on the live on Friday. I'll be doing a little bit more of an explanation for you, okay? So um, this morning as I was shuffling, I saw the passion and pleasure card about, I don't know, four times. So... I want to say to you that definitely has to do with this reading um, as I was preparing and meditating on your reading today I was like what's that about let's see where we go all right feel free to swap around the energies as always I could be talking to a cross watcher so please use your intuition and take what resonates and leave what doesn't all right thank you very much Woo! thank you very much let's see where we go begin now rainbow blessings fellow travelers support is all around you we are all one and i think this concept is something that is going to be informing your life a lot more um very very soon all right so this is definitely uh, a, a path take um let's see take your first step this morning's, yeah, <laughs> this morning's morning message was about first light, was about the new um, beginning. And also the twin flame reading I did, the spiritual path reading I did yesterday was also about taking, this, taking the step on the new path. So rainbow blessings showering in your life. And some of those blessings are other people. Other people, opportunities. Okay. I'm getting a lot of direction today and usually I get have guidance and, and I'm channeling so uh, I know when things flow through me that are coming from you know not my brain or my thinking but coming from other places now today it's like okay do it this way okay do it this way <laughs> my guides are a little bit like uh, there's some stuff that's important that needs to come out and so I'm getting a, I'm feeling a little bit like come on I don't know. So interesting, right? Five of swords underneath. Hermit. Hermit. Page of pentacles. Four of pentacles. Seven of swords. Hierophant. Wow. Interesting. Eight of pentacles. Ace of swords. Empress. Knight of cups. There is so much to learn here. Okay, I, I feel like this is, um, I like this, it's kind of opposite energy here, the Hermit and the Page of Pentacles. Um, I kind of like that though. It's like, you know, some of, some of you guys or some of us, I'll include myself, like when you go down a road, when you have this experience of being on a spiritual path, um, you can feel it's it's almost like you don't know where you are on that path you don't know how far along the path you are um, other people can show up right now fellow travelers support is all around you and i feel like i'm going to clarify this five of swords here but i feel like having this beginner's mind um it's sort of like moving back and forth between hermit and page of pentacles which is like the wise sage and the new beginner like this gives you um I don't know, flexibility. It, it's not that. It's that it gives you a fresh look at the path that you're on. Um, you may have been holding back because of previous experiences of people being mean, people being uh, manipulative or people um, trying to tell you what's what. Okay, this person that's on your path or that was on your path um, I feel like they uh, lied to you or cheated you or did something to you and it was really in their own best interest. This is a very selfish thing to do to you, okay? 
um, this person is starting to learn some new things about themselves though. They're finally having to do the work. Okay. So I feel like you're holding back from this person. Um, you're protecting yourself. Okay. Because this person was not, uh, you know, did not mean well. Five of swords, seven of swords did not mean well. So now speaking your truth, right? Fifth chakra here. Speaking your truth is going to be important for you to move down this road. This fellow traveler, this fellow traveler, um, let me clear about the, clarify this. Six of swords, two of cups, strength, two of wands. I feel like only through speaking your own truth will you understand the purpose of this person in your life. Okay? Because I feel like that not being said for pentacles, you withholding your truth, speaking your truth is part of the deal. All right, with this person. And I feel like you are needing to um, speak your truth to this person so you can move forward. Okay, there's some kind of uh, karmic um, soulmate here. And though they were, they were mean or they were a little bit, um, a lot manipulative, not a little bit, a lot manipulative. Could be Taurus, okay. Uh, somebody who felt like they were, they knew everything, that they were the wise sage. I mean, you're now coming across as the wise sage, but you're wise because you can learn new things. Okay. Um, I feel like this person, um, doesn't learn new things. They're very, uh, stubborn in their ways and you know, you kind of match their energy, right? You kind of match their, matched their energy. Hey, no chewing on the stair. You kind of matched their energy here. I mean, I feel like a little bit that this is a very, um, I'm hearing vindictive person. Uh, I, I almost feel like they are, they have this sense of, I know what's right. And so if I, you know, um, have to lie or cheat or steal to get that done, um, there's going to be penance for this person. There's going to be you know, and what they're right is, it's like their opinion, right? But they think it's fact. It's just their opinion. And I think that's one of the pieces of wisdom that you're gaining uh, from uh, interacting with this person is that you're learning your, your opinion is important. You're learning your wisdom. You're learning. You're able to learn. This person isn't able to learn. There's a lot of ego involved here with this person. They tr constantly try to... Um, you know, sort of box you into their belief systems. All right. They try to box you in. This could be a friend. This could be uh, a partner, someone you have some kind of commitment with. I almost feel like this is a soul commitment with this person and the holding back of not speaking to them or not saying your truth is um, kind of blocking your wisdom, blocking you from elevating this is like a, 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 um, a path you have to walk. All right. And I do feel like what's coming here is that you're walking this path. You're choosing to watch, walk this path. And by doing this, you're like, it's almost like you're paying a toll. So you're allowing love in. So if some of you have been dealing with narcissistic partners, some of you have been dealing with toxic family members, um, things along those lines. It's almost like, I see you. I see you. Okay. And in a loving way, all right. In a, in a loving way, like, you know, I really feel sorry that this is how you feel. You have to communicate with people. That makes me sad that this is, this is your choice. This is clearly their choice. All right. I'm going to clarify the eight of pentacles here. This person could be a coworker or a boss, this eight of pentacles here. 
King of Swords, Moon, Page of Cups. All right, they could have some kind of fear around not doing this. It's almost like their fear is that if you are saying something that's different, right? And you are the hermit, you are the wise soul here. You are the, you know, because this is like the difference between spir uh, spirituality and religion, right? There's a dogmatic approach, a top-down approach here. Um, here, this is about gaining wisdom from the universe. This is about more, um, you know, uh, egalitarian. We are, you know, it's not a hierarchical system. It's a flat system. So we all have access to wisdom. This person is trying to, you know, hold on to power, hold on to power by keeping other people believing, right? Manipulation, because there's five of swords, seven of swords, believing that there is no, they cannot gain wisdom on their own. They have to go through them. There's something about this this could be a very toxic um, person who has deep fears, deep fears about the future. As it relates, they could be somebody who is um, this is somebody who doesn't want to start over again. OK, somebody who doesn't want to start over again, either in a love relationship or in their life. They're resisting so hard. The age of Aquarius so hard. They're res resisting all of this. Um, today at one o'clock, you know, this is after one o'clock that you're watching this, but today at one o'clock, I did a members only live about, um, the Saturn square Uranus. Okay. That's going on. That is really going to inform most of to all, all, not most, all of 2021. Okay. Saturn is the rules, right? Hi hierarchical structures, um, you know, this is how we do things around here. This is, you know, boundaries. This is, you know, there's positive elements to it too. Saturn, right? Saturn. Um, tradition. Uranus is not that. It's about upending this. It's about freedom. It's about change. It's about new. It's about surprises. It's about expansion. You know, uh, this Hierophant seeks to, uh, seeks to, um, uh kind of consolidate right that's a very saturnian term seeks to consolidate their power um could be power over you could be just power in their workplace could be power with another person okay there's an aquarius here there's a there's a pisces here i almost feel like this is how they've done it since they were a child this is how they've coped with their reality since they were a kid and your presence in this world you're just your presence in this person's life is a reminder okay because if you're having some success i see pentacles with you here about the ability to learn new things i feel like they're jealous of that the ability for you to be on the spiritual path rainbow blessings fellow travelers this person is a fellow traveler too um but this person is somebody who is sitting squarely in the saturnian um place of no my way or the highway and you're you're Uranus. You're the one that's showing them that there's way more to things than how they're allowing themselves to see. There's a lot of fear you're bringing up for this person. You, they're afraid that your mere presence is showing them that they were wrong. Okay, and that is very triggering to this person. I feel like what's happening here is if this is a love partner, um, they may try to tie you down. Uh, and what I mean by that is a very traditional kind of relationship in that, you know, it's, it's their rules kind of thing. It's their, you are invited in, but you don't get a say in this. Okay. Um, and I feel like you're going to be seeing that very, very brightly two of wands and then the six of swords, two of cups, Leo energy here, something that's more expansive. So if this isn't about love, it's about you, you know, stepping into your, um, your truth, um, very compassionately moving forward. Uh, if this is a love partner, I do see a new love partner coming in because of the lessons that you've learned from this person. Well, not because of it's well, in spite of the lessons you've learned from this person, but there's something very freeing about, you know, speaking truth to this power. Okay. And there is support all around you. 
fellow travelers. So it's, it's very important to understand there's other people who, um, especially, especially on this channel, there's a community of people that are supportive of, um, seeing this kind of, uh, um, I'm going to say game, but seeing this kind of person, um, and being a support system so that you can move on from this. So we're, you know, we do a lot of work around healing and things like that on this channel, or that's the thing that's going to be expanding. I definitely have messages around that for myself and, you know, how to heal from a toxic partner, how to move into your truth. Okay. This is what's going to be uh, important for you to do. So I do see you moving forward here. Knight of Cups moving on from this situation. This can even be the thing that's holding you back. Four of Pentacles. We just, um, we just did a, uh, a Chiron class on the, on, you know, I do a lot of different classes too. And Chiron is about your wounded healer. So the wounded healer in this sense can be running up against, this is Taurus. This is about family belief systems. Um, what you value. Okay. That is something that, um, you're speaking the truth about something that you value and that's you know kind of causing this break uh with this person or this fam family this belief system whatever this is and i do feel like that just that awareness of speaking that truth is something that brings in um the new opportunity here it's like you're breaking with tradition or you're breaking with something that no longer serves you congratulations okay um i'm going to continue on with this reading you know, the flip side of Taurus is about, you know, being comfortable, about valuing things um, for yourself and knowing what your values are. This person is a is a, a, a contrast to show you, right? We can't have light without dark. Uh, this is person is a contrast to show you where the work needs to be so you can move forward into love. Ha! Okay? So I'm going to look at, I see Virgo here. I see Leo here. Taurus. Um... Libra, Aquarius, Pisces. That's a lot. So if you want to continue on with me, um, if this reading resonated for you, the link is below. Otherwise, the water reading starts right now. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What is going on for you? I hope you're doing great today. Let's see where we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the characters. Um, as always, please use your intuition and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, this weekend, we will be doing some new things in terms of the extendeds. I think it's going to give us a lot more flexibility. We'll be able to do a lot more for you guys. And um, so we are going to um, do that. <laughs> check out uh, check out the live on Friday. I'll be explaining it a little bit more. I do a live at noon on Friday. If you if you don't know about that, um, please give that a watch. I'll talk about what's going to be happening starting Saturday. All right. Let's see where we go here. Ah, passion and pleasure. All right. This tried to come up. <laughs> Was it for the fire sign or the air sign? I'm not sure. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Faraway places. Be ready for new horizons. I feel like you're finally letting yourself have some fun. Okay, and you might have been through a lot recently. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And um, there's somebody, I feel like a new a partner coming in, whoever this reading is for, whatever water sign, I feel like a partner coming in is also on the spiritual path. All right, check out that twin flame reading I did the other day. Uh, the person's also on the spiritual path. I feel like they could be of a different nationality of a different race they could be a lot younger a lot older um this is like a brand new kind of person all right letting yourself have fun and have some joy um letting go of old patterns of love letting go of old structures this is almost like um uh van life glamping something along those lines camping that's like a teardrop trailer or something well it's not a teardrop trailer but it's like uh something like that like you know being with others of like mind like that i like that 
All right, let's see where we go here. All right, Ten of Pentacles underneath, Two of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Swords. Woo! All right, we're going to check that out. Six of Wands, Fool. You are getting free of some old stuff, my darling. Five of Cups, Knight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Look at that Fool right there in the middle. Hierophant. Woo! All right, this has shown up a lot. I feel like there's a new... You're creating a new um, stability for yourself. Okay, you're you might be you might be rejecting family belief systems. Okay, you might be rejecting, you know, um, a traditional way of living your life, and uh, instead preferring to, you know, do things, <laughs> oh, do things a little bit differently. Some of you are definitely um, on the path here. You could be traveling or you could be deciding to, um, you know, live in different places or live in a different place than you are, okay? Moving. Some of you could be moving away from family or, or definitely away from a belief system, okay? Because this is two of swords to me. You can, you can see it. You might have been blocking it before, like, okay, well, that's just gross or whatever they're doing is just gross. But now you see it as kind of manipulative. All right. You can see it as, and they might be very angry that you're like kind of calling them out. This is going to require some healing. All right. This is so interesting. Um, you know, feeling free. The fool doesn't have a lot of heavy baggage. Okay. The fool does not have that. The fool is someone who does kind of, you know, rent an RV and drive around the country or travel to distant places. Um, somebody who's a minimalist who gets rid of all their stuff and, and you know, hikes around, um, seeing new people, new places, you know, really awesome. You can have a home base. You can have a home base. Um, it's something that's different than what your family would be you're, it's like rejecting uh, some old values or something like that. Very Taurian. You know, Taurus is what you value. And we get our values largely from our families, okay? So you might be um, more interested in sowing the seeds of adventure, all right? And I feel like there could be some loss because you might be moving away from people or you might be, you know, doing a lot more traveling or something like that. And so you could feel... You know, when you're in this kind of, it's not a rootless existence, okay? Um, you find this kind of rootless existence appealing, do you? Um, it's not from Titanic, right? And he's like, I got air in my lungs, I got my drawing, and I meet all you fine people, right? Titanic? And, you know, we know what happens to Jack. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But, you know, he only leaves this earth because he has found his true love. He found his twin flame. That was his purpose in this life. And it was, in his, it was his purpose in this life to help her, you know, move away from some very, very stifling family values. Okay? If you haven't watched Titanic, I don't know what to tell you. Time to watch Titanic or time to watch it again. Um, some of you could be... Uh, leaving behind a partner that's very traditional. All right, let me get some sense of this. Um, please clarify that. The Hierophant here, because that's belief systems, right? Five of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands, Four of Swords. There's definitely some kind of, you might be breaking someone's heart and leaving behind a person. You could be you could be seen by this other person as a little bit flighty or something like that, but you're moving down, a, you're going on an adventure. Embracing a sense of adventure here. All right, so other people are going to give you a lot of shit about this water sign, okay? Um, other people who believe that they know better. But here's the thing. You are definitely becoming inspired to move in a different direction than what you thought. So there is going to be some kind of heartbreak here around the fact that they can't handle it. Okay. But, um, temperance and Knight of cups, because you're moving in this very freeing way, 
there is something to do the this is opposite energy really neither is bad nor good you know one is very um encumbered but also abundant this is also abundance different kind of abundance okay uh the abundance now is about freedom right this passion and pleasure the abundance now is freedom so if you were in a marriage that was too much about money or something like that i feel like you're getting healed uh because you're seeing that your values don't really match up to that and so now you're really truly in your self in your power um and also being very uh much more confident standing in your spiritual path really moving forward seeing what was not good about the, you can take you don't have to be like oh i'm wholesale rejecting everything take the things that were meaningful to you if this is about what you value so take the things that were meaningful to you you know if you loved having a place to entertain right this is passion and pleasure it's about entertaining it's about having a good time and um being on your spiritual path and embracing the new people that are showing up letting go of the things that were stifling about it okay so this is about sowing the seeds of adventure adventures coming <laughs> are you ready are you ready are you satisfied are you hanging on the edge of your seat all right let's see where we go i do think that um you could be moving toward a sagittarius i see sag here too sag um I see Taurus, I see Taurus as tradition. Water sign, I feel like you're moving toward a fire sign, okay? Because Sagittari Sagittarius is here too in this Knight of Wands. So I'm going to look at Sag. Um, I'll look at all the fire signs, I guess, here, okay? Um, the universe is trying to get you there. All right. Link is below if you want to continue on with me. I'll see you there. And if not, Earth sign reading is next. Hello, oh, hello, Earth signs. You're up. How are you? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the characters. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So let's see what is up for you right now. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, my darling. Oop, here we go. First light. <laughs> We beginning a new cycle. Oh my goodness. Impasse. Reflect and redirect your energy. Overcoming obstacles. All right. So if some of you have just started out on a new journey, uh, some of you could be, you know, could have ended relationships, ended careers, ended, you know, um, an old way of being and, and having this optimism okay this beautiful optimism about this new cycle that's coming in and all of a sudden ba bam what have you got in front of you you've got some issues here you've got a problem about something uh you've got a um um it just feels like a like a door just closed or something here i'm gonna clarify this before i move on um this almost makes me feel like it's purposeful all right, this new path is asking a lot more of you um, than what had been happening in the past, okay? Or how you were how you were dealing um, with your life in the past. So clarify the impasse and the obstacles for me. King of Wands, Page of Cups. Okay, I got two Queen of Wands, High Priestess, King of Cups. All right. I feel like this is a, a person, um, a fire sign that is definitely a, a possibility. Okay. And this person could have been a secret. This person could, um, have been somebody that you had only a light connection with. Okay. And you have a spiritual connection to this person. All right. There's definitely some feelings here. Um, I feel like one of the obstacles may be that this person, um, was a secret in your life maybe in a previous relationship they may be they may have had a uh, a partner or you did um there's definitely some feelings here though already all right this is not this is not a brand new thing uh but i feel like now if you're free 
this person may, um, there's something that's in between the two of you. All right. First of all, you may not have been talking for a long time. Second of all, they may live in a different place. There's obstacles around getting together with this person. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sag. All right. Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. More Sag and more Sag underneath here. Knight of Wands. Um, Page of Wands. Three of Swords. This is, this is somebody that you might have um, not talked to in quite some time. Yeah. There you are. Knight of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Six of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Nine of Cups. Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Two of Wands, and Chariot. All right, so let me see if I can do this a little bit better here. I feel like this person uh, is somebody that you're going to have to put in some time and effort toward. Okay, if if something ended and it didn't end all that well, or there's something that's the obstacle here is that you're going to have to build some bridges. Okay, Queen of Swords, Two of Wands and chariot you're definitely getting a new you're definitely um getting um the feeling that you should circle back around to this person okay i feel like this person yes is there baggage with this person but i feel like this is the one you're hoping for if this is a new person um there's going to be, this person may not be open to you right away. They may be someone who's closed their heart. You see how Queen of Wands is kind of like with their her hands over her heart. This person may not be very open to you. Um, there's definitely a spiritual connection here, though. All right. I feel like there's... Um, this person's going to, you, if you go toward this person, they're going to ask a ton of questions. Okay. But look at this. I do feel this is pretty good. So you're going to need to overcome some obstacles here, but six of wands and chariot moving forward with this person. Okay. Um, the knight of pentacles definitely have to put in some time and effort here. Hierophant, there's Taurus, Ten of Wands, Star, Six of Pentacles. Um, yeah, this could have been a third party at some point. All right, I feel like you might have to put down some kind of traditional belief you have or some kind of uh, family belief system. That's been a huge story today, you know, with all of these, with all of these readings, okay? Um, is about putting down the old way of doing things. That's the that's the block here. You have to be creative with this person. I, I don't feel like you can approach them the way you might have in the past. And it's like, well, what the hell does that mean, Mary Jo? What are we talking about here? I feel like there's something here about philanthropy or working on a project together something that because this is a spiritual connection there may be mission involved uh helping people who are um needing your help all right you could feel this could be twin flame i feel like that has been the the nature of today's readings is that um you gotta learn to think outside the box as it was as it relates to your mission on this planet and also as it relates to this person this is a spiritual partner there's no more, you know, doing what you normally would do, but there is a requirement for you to be stable and solid. So it can't be something that's too far outside of your comfort zone um, because that's going to have you come off as like flighty or, you know, or as a player. Okay. So you can't do that. Um, this is really about you understanding yourself, maybe doing some healing work, understanding your feelings more, being able to communicate them better. That might have not been uh, the conversation before. There might be something about like offering forgiveness. Or asking forgiveness. 
All right, what is the nine of wands here? Because there is some baggage. All right, what is the nine of wands here? Ace of wands. Oh, good. <laughs> Six of cups, eight of cups, eight of swords, four of swords. Okay, so this is definitely about, I feel like you could come back around to this person and make an offer of a new beginning that has some stability to it. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, right? Coming back around. And, you know, this is a spiritual path that you'll be walking with this person. So what comes right up, right? After this first light, this, you know, new way of dealing with this person, this new um, kind of little bit outside the box, creative. Where's my other boot? Um, oh, Charlie took it. <laughs> this new kind of creative way of, of being in relationship. All right. There's this definitely, uh, that feels good to me. What is interesting is the minute you kind of like get your foot in the door, there's going to be more obstacles. Okay. This person may put, um, may be aware of some mindsets that you guys were both engaging in, in the previous iteration of this relationship that have no place now you know, like a third party, like if it was a third party, no place for that now. Okay. And I love this energy of Venus here. And it's like having, um, engaging in this conversation with this person from a place of the heart, from a place of compassion, a higher, ver a higher vibration. All right. And that's, what's going to be the conversation here. And it will, it is likely to move forward beautifully. Okay. Um, but you can't, what got you here won't get you there. You're not going to be able to advance this relationship with the same set of golf clubs that you used when you first were connected with this person, especially if they were a third party. That's the thing that really needs to be worked on. Okay. Um, any more obstacles? Let's look at, uh, any more obstacles. Cause I feel like you have a legit uh chance here yeah three of, that was a third party situation you got gotcha, it right and too much focus on the third party by this other person too much focus on that right cheating um and three of pentacles turning that into a positive turning that that it was a third party into some kind of positive and I feel like um, your uh, sharing of how you've transformed yourself, how you've moved down your own spiritual path, what have you done, what has been your experience in overcoming obstacles in the past, uh, how are you no longer uh, vibrating in the frequency of third parties? That's going to be the biggest question this person has. Because if it started as a third party, now you want to get back with this person. I think you've got to explain third party and how that's no longer an energy that you're, you're vibing with. Okay. Now you're much more, much more in this Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is the boy that your mother would trust you with as a teenage girl. You're going to have to win this person's trust. Okay. Something like that. This could be reversed. This person might have to win your trust. Definitely a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, I feel like they have some kind of air, air energy to them. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So I'll look at fire signs and air signs here. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like this is the two of you, this Cancerian energy. Okay. All right. Earth sign. If you want to continue on with me, the link is below. Let's see what you need to do to overcome this situation and we'll see where we go. All right. Link is below for you. Otherwise the fire reading is next. Your signs you're up. How are you? Passion and pleasure. I've seen this a million times today. Oh my God. That's good. Right? Passion and pleasure, Charlie. All right. Let's see where we go. Sun, moon, rising and Venus for Aries, Leo, Sag. Like I said before, we are going to be doing some new stuff, moving away from Vimeo onto a new platform. So more details to follow. That will start this weekend, so we won't leave you high and dry. We're going to let you know more about it on the live on Friday. 
Um, I do a live at noontime on Friday, so you might want to catch that. I'm going to be talking more about that. I'm going to be doing some, it's going to give us more flexibility and be able to do better stuff for you. Okay, so that's really the goal here. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to move to a new platform. We so appreciate it. All right. Don't worry about it. You'll, you'll hear about it. YouTube's not going away. <laughs> YouTube's not going away, right? Okay. Wondrous universe. Transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. Valiant courage. Take action with passion. I like that. So I, I do think things are opening up for you here. Um, could be going through a lot of ups and downs transformation the death card um you know sometimes there's a yeah sometimes there's a um a pause between an old cycle and a new cycle and i feel like just releasing and letting go and feeling the wonder you know doing more in nature taking more walks getting out i know it's winter in the northern hemisphere um but um you know enjoying that finding ways to enjoy all seasons or wherever you are finding ways to enjoy it all right there's some beautiful uh transformation that wants to show up for you right now if you're feeling stuck definitely just know that there's something coming all right yep there's nine of swords underneath for sure ah there we are the devil energy king of swords Woo! five of wands there you are, King of Wands, Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, my goodness, Magician, Ten of Cups, wow, Star, oh, look at this beautiful energy fire sign, oh my goodness, <laughs> that makes me giggle, all right, so I feel like um, there's somebody you've been dealing with, so if you are the one who has been going through a tough time, um, I feel like you're looking, you know, you're sort of focused on it. All right. King of wands and seeing that nine of swords there, but there's definitely somebody here, somebody in your midst, Capricorn, Aquarius, that you're dealing with something before you move on here, before you're, you're manifesting new love here for sure. Uh, but there's something here to deal with first. Okay, so you could be feeling, like I said, the stuck energy, um, but now you're gaining some clarity and some wisdom uh, about what is going on. Please clarify the devil energy here. Six of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. I almost feel like because the King of Swords is here, because you're gaining the clarity, the important part is to move on from it. The important part is to transmute this energy. So uh, I think things are showing up in your dreams. Things are showing up in your life that maybe you need to pay a little bit more close attention to um, because they're transformational. There's other people who are trying to keep you in this position, keep you in this place. But there's also friends, helpers, you know, people on your path that are helping you, okay? Helping you move through this transition, coming into um, a very new space, a loving new space. Page of Cups here, that's beautiful energy. So you're coming out of a dark time here. Coming out of a dark time. And the devil energy is about self-inflicted stuff. It's about patterns that we have that we can just walk away from if we understood that you have power. If you understood you have power. That's a lot of why people, a lot of the reason why people stay in jobs or stay in relationships that are toxic for them is they don't think they have the power or they don't believe that they can do anything about it. Okay, um, I feel like the universe is trying to bring in wisdom for you to see uh, the next steps, okay? Like clearing the fog. Uh, so what is this Five of Wands about? Yeah, Seven of Wands, Five of Wands, Resistance, 
Page of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Again, oh, whoa, okay, Hanged Man. So releasing and letting go of any kind of resistance. You know, sort of like embracing the thing that keeps you in addictions or keeps you in difficult circumstances can sometimes be denial of them. Oh, it's not that bad. This person doesn't really want to harm me. You know, I only, I only drink, you know, um, occasionally. Um, I only, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not a big deal. If you're having some kind of, um, confusion right now, it can be that your subconscious is trying to tell you that there's something unhealthy going on for you and you're needing to see it clearly. All right. Whatever the thing is that's unhealthy for you, it can be belief systems, right? The nine of swords. You can believe that you don't deserve love. You can believe that um, you're stupid, that you're unworthy, that you're, um, you know, uh, uh, whatever, okay? Something that is a very toxic belief system and gaining mastery over that with the King of Swords, seeing that very clearly, that is releasing you from this toxicity. And a lot of times we resist the belief that you know, we, everybody wants to think that their families were good to them unless it was really like obvious that they weren't, right? There can be a lot of subtle manipulation, subtle um, difficulties. And part of the spiritual path is that you are gaining mastery over these things, but also they're coming up for you now because you're letting yourself feel right? Feelings are the, feelings are the way of the future. Feelings are, um, how you will open yourself to love. You, some of you have to clear this gunk out first though. Hanged man is about acceptance that, you know, Hey, my parents were human beings. Okay. They weren't, you know, Superman and wonder woman. They weren't magic. Uh, in terms of, you know, this kind of issue that I'm trying to ex access for myself. This can be a lot about, about shadow work, okay, and s really seeing your, your, the things that are holding you back. We just finished a Chiron class, and I will do more if you guys want it. That is really about the wounded healer. These are things that we are, have our wounds, our childhood wounds, and things like that. Everybody has them. Okay? Everybody has them. And a lot of times we think everybody else is, seems like they're doing fine. Everybody else is kind of moving along and, you know, getting what they want. And, you know, the thing that's blocking you is yourself. The thing that's blocking you is the thing that is a belief system around something that happened a long time ago. So believing this and accepting it, you know, that's what, that's what true um, spiritual work is about. It's about embracing that part of you that you may have been rejecting all this time and rejection is in this instance um it, you know keeping you small or keeping you down from moving forward into the life you want because look what's look what want you know look what you can what you're manifesting okay when you finally see the parts of yourself that need to be loved you know uh, a lot of us who are mystics or shamans or channels or anything like that as children we were freely you know talking about this and we're freely being this creative spark and and freely doing this and if other people wanted to shut that down um you could feel like because kids uh attach meaning to things based on you know the belief that oh i must be bad right there's like this they don't have enough experience to be like oh well, that's that person's bullshit, right they, they don't have that so whatever that's why we do this shadow work that's why we do this awareness of chiron uh chiron is a part of your astrology chart that shows you the wounds the medicine is in the wound you got to go into the wound to get the medicine okay um so you got to go into the wound to get the medicine and a lot of times you can you know believe that let, let me just give you an example i believe that i'm not I don't want to even say this out loud because your words have power, right? You can believe that you are unlovable. 
okay? You can believe that you're weird. I mean, define weird. Everybody's weird. <laughs> we are all individuals that all have a connection to each other based on our humanity. And, you know, if there's something here about um, something that you're deeply ashamed of or something that you feel uh, were made to feel deeply ashamed of, that's what's being released right now. Okay, hanged man. That's what you're learning to, to, enjoy, to enjoy and to embrace that part of you that was maybe um, censored, shut down. Okay, so what can happen now is the Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, the King of Wands looking at that Knight, Nine of Swords and being like, oh, that's not a thing. Right. I am lovable. I deserve love. I deserve a beautiful home. I deserve um, a great job. I deserve to share my gifts with the universe, with the other people. I deserve. Right. It's going to take courage to do this, to look at it right in the face and be like, OK, I'm ready. That's not true. I'm lovable. I am this. I'm that. Whatever you whatever you're referring to for yourself, whatever you're redeeming. So you're kind of redeeming this child. You're like collecting them back up again and allowing this beautiful wish to be granted, okay? Nine of Cups and Star is are both wish granted cards. And it's because you see yourself so much more clearly now, all right? Um, you're manifesting the best. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come, my darling here, fire sign, okay? Um... I do see uh, Pisces, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini. All right, Pisces, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini. So I'm going to look at that in the extended read. If you want to continue on with me, the link is below for that. I will see you.